Hi guys, this is Shivang here. Before we start, let me ask you, have you ever thought or have you ever asked yourself, why do I feel thirsty? Is there any reason behind that? Yes, there is a reason behind why you feel thirsty. So in this video, we'll understand that, why do we feel thirsty? So, whenever there is an insufficient water in the body, blood volume decreases and blood osmolality increases. Oh, what is this blood osmolality? Let me make you understand what the osmolality means. Osmolality is a measure of how much one substance is dissolved in another substance. As we all know, blood is composed of 70% of water, right? That means osmolality of water is high than osmolality of blood. This increment in blood osmolality is sensed by osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is a small gland located above the pituitary gland and also connected to the pituitary via a stalk called infundibulum. And the increment in blood osmolality also leads to the dryness of our mouth. As we have discussed previously that insufficient water in the body causes decreases decrement in blood volume. Whenever blood volume decreases, the blood pressure gradually decreases. And this leads to increment in angiotensin II production in the blood. What is this angiotensin II? Angiotensin II is a hormone that maintains the blood pressure by vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction means constriction of blood vessels. Whenever the blood vessels are constricted, the blood pressure increases. So the increment in angiotensin II, dryness of our mouth, and osmoreceptors that sense the increment in blood osmolality in the hypothalamus simultaneously stimulates the thirst center in the hypothalamus. Whenever thirst center is stimulated, it sends the signal to the brain that you're feeling thirsty. Whenever you feel thirsty, you consume water. When we consume water, the blood pressure and blood osmolality normalizes and we feel relaxed. So this is how our body responses to the thirst. So that's all about why do we feel thirsty. It is also called regulation of drinking behavior. And guys, if you have understood this video, then hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos in the future. Thank you. See you soon.